Your best eater and beater is not the 6'5 man that you're lusting over. I know you don't wanna hear it, but just walk with me for a second. I have this theory and I've been talking to my girlfriends about it for a really long time. Pretty much the gist of it is that men who are tall are already perceived as being pretty attractive, even if they're not like the most attractive person in the face. And because height is valued in society, they obviously pull more women. Like that man who's over six feet has probably been tall his entire life. He was the tallest kid in his kindergarten class and you know, he continued to be tall forever, pretty much. Because height is so valued, he struggled to develop a personality, okay? That man has no charisma, he's boring. All he has is that he's tall and he played basketball at one point. He's probably clinging on to the fact that he could have gone D1 if something didn't happen to him. Now on the other hand, you have the man who's like 5'8", 5'9", 5'10". Because that man grew up short for the most part, he was probably super short until he was like a junior in high school and then shot up from like 5'2 to like 5'9". That man had to develop so much personality. He had to be charismatic, he had to be charming, he had to be caring. He had to develop interests that were legitimate. If you meet that man when you're like 25, 26, he can charm the hell out of you. And because he's had to work on himself so much, he will look at your cat and worship it like it's the last supper. That tall man, he's not, he doesn't have the facilities. And I ran this by all my girlfriends and all of their best eaters and beaters are 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, and my girls run the gamut from like 4'11 to 6'1". Because I promise you that average slash short man that is shooting his shot at you, he's not insecure about the fact that he's that height. It's you causing the problem about the height. Because I promise you now, that 6'8 man, he is going to disappoint you. You're going to be sitting there like, well, that was a waste of my time. You know what, guys? She 100% right. I'm 5'10", but you know what? I'm going to bring an analogy home to y'all. Think about basketball. If you're a guy who's like 5'9 or 5'6", dude, you got to work on your game all around. You got to be a great passer. You got to be a great shooter, a ball handler. You have to What are balls, your thoughts? Balls. <laughs> to have great court vision. You know what I'm saying? It's like you got to work on weaknesses. It's like creating separation. You got to catch that ball and eat. Oh, yo, that's that pass. That's pass great. course, man. To hit the big man with a jab step, a fake, or a pump fake to throw him off and create separation. You have to take the first look that you get because if you don't take that first look, a taller man can come through and smother you. You giving him too much room. It's the same thing in the bedroom, dog. Straight up, man. Dudes got to work on their game. If we ain't just getting these women back to back like them taller guys, you got to really impress them when you undress them. You get what I'm saying? First of all, the body count question. What? Women will tell you anyway when you don't ask, when she trusts you, when she feels comfortable enough to open up to you. So that's number one. But number two, you know why a woman's past doesn't concern me? Why? 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 Now, I don't, I'm not, when I say this, it's like guys jump to the extreme. Okay, so Tosh, you got 200 bodies. We do not care. What? It's not about that, bro. Not judging you. ADG Kamoy, I appreciate the T1 sub. For real, for real, I think every man's spirit, even if even if in his head he's not saying, um, what's her body count, what's her body count? Every man's worry is the idea of feeling like a fool, like feeling like you show up in different places and everybody know her. That really hurts. I think that's the deadliest thing about that question of a man's concern, rightfully so. Like I said, I won't ask a chick her body count, but I'm, I would hate, I'm not trying to show up places and she'd have been everywhere with everybody. Skr, skr, not dealing with. But let me tell you about the passport, right? So he made this point about he'll look at her roster. He'll, he'll literally ask her, what's your roster look like? What's their Instagram? So he'll look at their pages and stuff and see one's like a hood dude and another guy's this or that, right? And I said to myself, normal concern, right? But I'm like, what the fuck? Who the fuck goes to that extent? And he made a whole point into that. But he was it was something a part of the picture he's missing. Follow me here, Chad. If you're like, why, why wouldn't you judge a woman by her past? Shouldn't you look at her last couple of decisions? Shouldn't you look all of that? Let me tell you, as a man of substance, as a, as a leader, as an influencing man, let me tell you why you don't think like that. And he was like, he's like, he also mentioned in the video, he said, this also lets me know if, if I'm her type or not. It's not my type. I said, second problem, bro. Let me tell you something. I, I know for a fact I'm not her type. I, I know for a fact I'm not. In fact, that is the biggest flex you have as a man is that you're not her type. You know why? She's never met me before. Impossible that she could that I could be her type. She ain't never met me before. The combination of things that makes me me, she can have a physical type, right? 
and 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 then have different physical types. Oh, I like an Asian dude. I like a black dude with tats. I like a white guy with brown hair. Like she can have multiple types at the same time, bro. Like it's overthinking. It's everybody wants to be her type. You know, not to disrespect little brother or nothing like that, but he said a lot, and most of it I disagree with. First of all, a woman, for the most part, is never going to tell you her true body count, especially if she's trying to be with you. Women know innately, they know instinctively that that turns men off. That's a fact. Number two, he said a man of substance is not even caring about a woman's body count. That's a lie. A man of substance is a man of substance for a reason. He holds himself to a higher standard. He's a high caliber man, so he ain't trying to be with no woman who slept with every guy she found attractive, every guy who gave her some attention. That doesn't align with his values, so he'll never date that woman. You get what I'm saying? Also, it's not about just going places and you being embarrassed. If you found out that the girl of your dreams is from another state and back home she caught 200 bodies, you would not treat her the same. You would not look at her the same. Your, your soul would be crushed after that. Think about that, bro. 200 men been inside your girl. <laughs> Ain't nothing valuable about her. Okay, let me get this right. Then get it right. You fucked the basketball player. Huh? He wasn't your man. He was actually a whole nother bitch man, right? You end up getting pregnant. He say he don't want the baby. He send over, he wire you 100K to abort the bet. A hundred thou wow. A hundred occasion. And you posted on the ground. For what? I'm tripping. I'm tripping or I'm confused. Is she crazy. Like, I'm so crazy. The only thing I can think of is that the wire didn't go through. After you already got the abortion. So now you bet. That's the only thing that makes sense. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. I don't got shit to say about that. If that's like that. But that whole said penny. Did it go through or not, sir? Let me. Let me know, cause ain't no way you posted. You sent me a hundred dollar to abort the baby. So my delete Instagram. I really don't see how these rich dudes be gambling with their financial uh life like this, bro. And I also don't see how they just be raw dogging all of these women, bro. Y'all are raw dogging women that'll let anybody in the NBA, NFL, MLB, NHL, anything hit raw if they think a bag gonna come with it. You know, the thing is this, he sent her a hundred grand, which is crazy because if she was thinking long term, 18 years of child support from a nigga like that, that's a lot of money. Way more than a hundred grand. So he's lucky that she even considered taking that because a much more clever sprinkle sprinkle type of lady would have definitely ran that bag up on him but hey it is what it is i don't really know the whole story i don't know if she's still pregnant or not i haven't followed it that closely but i just wanted to get that out there so if you guys don't like race related stories you might want to click off this video now because that's what it's about and here we go there's your warning so i'm out with this woman who i've been friends with for several years and she asks hey can i talk to you about something and don't take it the wrong way and i'm kind of just sitting there like okay sure why not now, for context purposes, this woman is white. And she says, well, my sister and my dad were talking the other day, and he asked her about you. And I'm sitting there like, what for? What for? Why would he ask your sister about me? And she says, well, you've been in several of my snaps and photos and whatnot. And I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Now, by this point of the story, I kind of already knew what was coming. So I'm like, all right, I'll bite. Why did he ask? This woman tells me that her dad asked her sister if she was dating me, because he's not sure if he'd be okay with a black man being in his family. I see this. Now what's hysterical to me about this story is that the older sister is married to and has kids with the Hispanic guy. But then the story takes one more turn. This woman says that her sister vouched for me saying, well, he's not one of those black guys. And at this point I'm like, you know what? Just bring me to Christmas dinner. I'd love to have a conversation with them. If you guys haven't figured it out yet, I do enjoy blowing racist minds. Plus, it's always fun to meet one in person. Sometimes I honestly prefer when people are racist to my face because they're not hiding behind a keyboard. At least, like, the racists who say it to your face aren't scared to do it. Nowadays, all racists do is sit behind a keyboard on various social media outlets or a Call of Duty game lobby. Apparently, the guy's a Trump supporter, too, so maybe he'll ask me about what I thought about Obama. I'll keep you guys posted. I'm here to tell you right now.
We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. All right, so look, check this out, bro. As a grown ass man, bro, as a grown ass black man, I am not going on my way to prove to some older white guy that I'm not one of those guys. Man, who the hell do I look like? First of all, I'm not doing that to no black girl, daddy. Oh, no Hispanic woman, daddy. I don't give a damn who your daddy is. If that man is not somebody that I look up to, admire, and want to be like, I'm not trying to impress him. Straight up. I'm going to come as I am. Take it or leave it, goddammit. This dude going out the way to try to do this, man. Are you crazy, bro? Have some self respect, bro. Like, forget that girl and her daddy. He's <laughs> straight up. I ain't I only been in love, like, I think one time. Once I knew I messed that up, I'm in the gym every day going crazy. Like, she see me, she gonna see, like, damn, I fucked up. Lost another good one. I'm gonna go get some more money when she see me. I'm rich and I'm in shape. Ooh, she gonna regret this. I'm built different. So it made me so ferocious by the pain I went through. I'm talking about tears now. I was like, damn, that was my fault. I was fucking a bitch in her car. I was doing dumb shit. So I always been in a position of power and just stepping on women and oh, you gotta love me, I'm the one. I never was like, okay, let me give and take. But I told her I don't get married cause I'm gonna come back and get you on a millionaire. <laughs> so I know you regret it, baby. I didn't I tell your ass to get no damn kids and get married on me, Jack. Not you fuck on the bitch and said, but don't go nowhere. Yeah, yeah, for <laughs> Man, she didn't got serious, man. Show cause I still ain't got no kids or nothing. Nah, and I, Is shit. it not an option for you to go get her? Oh no, oh no, no, no. Once you have a kid like on me like that, I can't, I ain't taking care of nobody else's kid like that. I can't do it. So you you could cheat on her a hundred times, yeah. take advantage of her, Most and then definitely. when she moved on, you can't take care of her extension. Yeah, I didn't do no permanent damage. See, I ain't got no but kids. Now, look, he was in the wrong for sure, but I want to address something that she just said. So you could cheat on her a hundred times, but you can't take care of her kids? Hell no. Those two things ain't got nothing to do with each other, bro. That disqualified me and her from ever being together. Nah, she got another man kids, man. That cannot be undone. She can forgive him for cheating, but he can't forgive the kids away. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So I feel where you're coming from with that, you know, but the fact of the matter is this. Had you been doing the right thing, thing from jump you still be with that woman right now but you know a lot of us men we gotta go and clap some cheeks you know what i'm saying we gotta go hit them broads and as a result a lot of times you you, you lose a good one doing that shit let's be real dog the power of that pussy mm. is something else he ain't lying let me tell you some of the power of it the power of it man got so many people that died about it in the, in the, in the hoods so many beefs that started so many dudes didn't like each other. Some of y'all favorite recording artists would never do a song over some pussy. Wild. Like literally over some chick that don't belong to them that belong to the game. You, we not gonna get some of our greatest music all because of chicks because dudes be beefing over chicks. If you hear the phone calls that we get and we gotta check people, we be having to check some of these artists that y'all love so much. Some of these athletes that y'all love so much, we got to check them and put them in a place. Yeah, man, I'm, you know, I don't mess with the boy. Why? I don't mess with him, you know, because I was messing with so-and-so. No, he was hitting my little bitch on the side. Yeah. Wait, hold on, dog. You got a, you, you got a woman. You got a woman. Wait, and, so y'all was sharing a, a both sharing a, pop a side bitch? A, a fucking pop and drop? And you fell in love with a it? A bitch you... that you supposed to pop and then let Uber drop her the fuck off. You over here calling us. You don't fuck with a about a pop and drop. If you hear these bleed outs, dudes be bleeding out for these women. And, so, and the funny thing about it, I don't even knock the women because some of them is married to the game. They married to what they they, they married to right. what they gonna get from. They married to going to get some gifts. They married to going on some trips, getting a little bit of dick. I like getting fucked. You know what I mean? And stepping off. That's what they married to, getting a little and a little bit of chips and stepping off. But like the power of that P, some of the greatest music will ever be done. Guys, if you really rock with me and you really been following the channel, y'all know I mentioned my cousin Mario a hundred times. He got killed over the neighborhood thought. Some little bum ass nigga around the neighborhood was tender dick about the girl. Saw my cousin was the last person that was dealing with her and came and shot my cousin to death, dog. Now, that resonated with me because that's how powerful Coochie is, bro. Coochie's so powerful that Delilah was able to put that thing on uh, Samson and make him go to sleep and she was able to attack his weakness while he was asleep after she put that thing on him, bro. A lot of dudes get set up because women get set Sent at them. Yeah. Hey, what you I want a high girl. B, man, check this out. The nigga about to leave now. All right. Say, what it? We can get this clown. He Ooh. right around the bend. Go. And the women are on the opposite side, and that's how you can get a man who's otherwise elusive to get caught down bad, bro. I'm telling you, coochie is powerful. One thing that be sad as hell on baby is when you with a girl. And she don't know this the last link of area. One last ride. On baby, it's satisfied. Let me explain. On baby, because as nigger I ain't going to lie. We just, we got conditions, bro. We got conditions. Like, had conditions. 
Before we end it, before we cut you off, we got to get that last piece of little coochie, that last little crumble of coochie. Get that, got to get that last little eater rare. We got to get that last, you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, you my favorite eatery, but I'm finna have to let you go. And you don't even know it. You don't even know it because you just did your thing. This is the last time you seen it. You scoop, scoop, scoop. You tried to break the mattress on oh, baby. She's so motherfucking happy with the results. She's just smiling. She tell your ass. And babe, you know what? We need to try that Mexican place across the street from Applebee's. Uh, I'm about to leave. I said it on TikTok. That shit's so good. And she don't even know. Bitch, we ain't trying shit. This shit is over with. After this, you just like, yup, yup. Oh, baby, she don't even know. It's never the right time. The right time to say good. Hey, you know what? I don't know about his situation, but for me, man, whenever I did that to a woman, dog, it was because the box wasn't all that, and I didn't see her as no girlfriend. Personality wasn't on nothing, so what's the point? Why we why we doing this still? Now, a nigga will keep a woman around for years if she A1 with it like that. You ain't letting her go, but she was subpar, obviously, because niggas ain't letting go of nothing that's worth something. Y'all ever had a man that pursued you for months calling you texting you dming you begging you for a day telling you that he the man that you need in, in your life you need to give him a chance he didn't fall his way out the friend zone he was on your body you finally give this man a chance you finally let your guard down and now he start playing with you <laughs> he starts planning your face telling you that you know he's not <laughs> sure if he's ready for a relationship type shit he's pulling back he's ghosting you he's not so available anymore doesn't seem like he's that attentive gotcha he's looking for a reason as to why he would be doing something like that? Why would he pursue you if he didn't really want anything? You probably feeling dumb. <laughs> I can tell you 10 reasons right now why he could be doing that. It's not going to help you. I'm going to do it. Gonna... You'll be talking to a girl before she give you the draws, and you can really realize who she is as a person without the sex clout and your judgment. You're like, damn, she's not funny. She's very, very annoying. She's a bird brain, manipulative. You can see a lot of stuff about her clearly when the sex is not there to hinder your judgment, bro. It this bitch is not all that. And I'm mad because I've been bucked up about this bitch. This bitch is regular. It is what it is, right? You're basically walking around in a state of post-nut clarity at all times. So when you finally get the draws, you already know that this is the person she is and it's just the sex at this point point. and okay let's say the sex is not good so now it's easy to just cut off because she has nothing else to offer you as a man but if that thing is good a lot of you guys find yourselves in trouble and basically trying to rationalize why you should stay with this woman all that dumb shit but keep it real with yourself before you hit her you didn't like her you gotta leave bro <laughs> You need 200k plus for a stay-at-home mom. How you doing? Social media women, yes, but you can be a, a very good provider making fifty thousand dollars. You see, when women on social media talk about they want a provider, they want to be a stay-at-home mom, they want X, Y, and Z. I want, I want, I want. They're not talking about, hey, I want to live in a regular house. Maybe I don't have a car because I don't work. You have a car. Or maybe we have an older car that's paid off and only one car payment. We shop at Aldi. We shop deals. Maybe I don't have the white picket fence. Like men can provide it at a certain level, okay? These women who love to use these examples of what men did back in the day, they don't talk about what their grandmothers did all day. If my wife became a stay-at-home wife today, she would be sitting at home watching a 70-inch TV, sitting on a sectional that stretches across the living room, feet kicked up eating whatever snack her heart desired, while scrolling on Amazon ordering packages to the door. Your grandmama ain't had that, you know? There's so many more bills today than there was when our granddads was doing this shit. Pair that with the fact that their dollar was worth so much more than ours, they made so much more money with so much less effort than we do. It wow. That didn't go as it's a mixed pipple of bullcrap. I make six figures a year. With the life that we live, we can't afford to do it comfortably with just me. Trying to tell y'all, am I broke? No. Am I complaining about money? No. I'm just trying to give it to y'all real. There's a lot of women on social media who don't even understand what like $150,000 feels like. What's it feel like? I'm married with three kids. It feels hella normal over here. Hella normal. There's no car payment in this household. So it, I'm, it, it, this ain't got nothing to do with me overspending. Oh, you blowing your money on dumb shit. No, 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 no. The, the savings account looking swell. We got security. You know, we can do shit like buy the kids whatever they want for Christmas and decorate the house for Christmas. It's just real comfortable. But she go to work every day. 7 to 4. 7.30 to 4. From home. She work from home. Got a nice little job. Yeah. Maybe a lot of the ladies, y'all need to figure it out. Like... Maybe you need to find a job that you're not so upset about working. But working? Two two people in the same house working? Very necessary. Now, if I made 200000 after taxes, 
Yeah, but a lot of people don't understand it's a privilege to be a stay-at-home mom. It's not to be expected, and that's what a lot of these women act like. The bare minimum, I need a provider who's going to provide the exact life I'm imagining. That shit's gross. Listen, check this out, bro. That stay-at-home mom shit is a scam in 2023. No woman has enough work to keep her busy all day long at all in 2023. So what does that mean? That mean while you out busting your ass, she got nothing but time to just fuck around. Watch TV all day, cheat on you, whatever she want to do, bro. I ain't saying all of them going to cheat on you, but I'm saying she got a lot of downtime because bro if she's actually a good housewife she's maintaining things it's never gonna just be a pile of bullshit around she's doing stuff every day so once you do your work you ain't got nothing to do all day long bro if the dishes are clean the house is clean the clothes are washed what else is there to do if the kids is at school there's nothing for her to do she ain't sewing clothes she ain't washing clothes by hand she throwing everything in the machine at this point bro if she even cooks dinner for you she ain't cooking for 12 13 people like big mom and them had to do i'm telling you bro it's they got it made in the shade right now and the problem is a lot of them don't even appreciate it you know what i'm saying you ain't getting nothing for the money you spending bro you could have hired a maid 